Sorry, I know um, last week on Shockwave, he got like second or third place, uh, which is Charizard's just running through everybody. Yeah. Um, it's really, really good. Like, he's not that like amazing character. Like, he's a decent heavy, but, you know, he has his... Uh, he has his uh, negatives. Mm -hmm. That's true. And so it looks like they're going to be going against Cheeks. And <laughs> what is that? I don't know what his tag is now. Monte, what's your tag now? I don't even know what that says. <laughs> Is that uh, ASC? Is yeah, that I your tag? Ace. I, I think it's just Ace. Ace? It's just Who Ace. spells Ace like that, Monte? It's upset. always been like that. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Game one popping off. Low tier doubles. Yeah, so in this matchup, I know uh, like Roy's like really good off on the... Uh... I'm like he doesn't have really a strong neutral in singles, but in doubles he can just really just go off. Just like once he get hit, he really take really far. Right, he does do a lot of damage and cover that space right in front of him. He is a sortie, uh, regardless of the differences between Marth Lucina, the, the traditional sorties. Uh, but in doubles, I think that kill power is going to be something pretty crucial. Uh, he's going to get gnarly kills, some combos as well, and Dexy's going to be looking for something like that explosive down smash. And blue team slight lead. And grabs a stock. There we go. Yeah, Pelty really close with that up smash right there. It narrowly misses it. Uh, there we got just di would in right there and looking pretty good. But yeah, blue team. Ooh, oh boy, my goodness. Good. That was insane. Jace on that is dog. swinging. He does not care. He says, get a plate, good sir. Everybody can get a piece. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, but uh, what do you think the problems are going to be for, for red team? Uh, well, right now, like, there's kill power for blue team, but I really don't see it in red. I yeah. think it's really nimble. I mean, Dr. Mario definitely hits hard. Uh, oh my goodness. And he's still alive! Charizard's a heavy boy. He is chunky baby right there, and oh my goodness, but that, that does not save Jace. Denti holding on sliver of life. That comboed, my goodness, good oh sir. God, Watch your down. head. Oh, oh my gosh, that was a good punish from Denti. So right now it looks like the, the weaknesses right now is not necessarily the characters that uh, Cheeks and Ace have right now. It's that the synergy of uh, the blue team, Denti and Jace, they just look like they're covering each other as much as possible, capitalizing on small hits wherever they can. Yeah, red team's always just like, they've just been split this whole time. They're trying to get together, but they, they just can't, can't catch their footing at all. Oh, don't do that. Don't oh, jump. Geez. Jace is hungry. He wants that stock and he's coming for it. Oh, yeah. That's the second up smash he's throwing. He wants that stock. Oh, my God. That's a shield break. <laughs> He ends up killing his partner instead of saving yeah, him. He was trying to save him, but that Nair's actually really strong at like 150, like that percent, and you know, a little bit of rage from Palatina. But yeah, maybe like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what he could have done there to like save him. It's just there. unfortunate. There yeah. wasn't a lot of options left out to him. Yeah, he's just too high a percent right there. Dash attack, separating the red team once again. Oh my gosh, did he just everybody get really stage? Close. And he dies at 60 for it. Oh, he gets that back here and comes for some overkill. Oh my God. The overkill. Yeah, bad yeah. And this looks like it's gonna be. Oh, you guys uh, are rude. The disrespect. The disrespect. That's right. End it. End it quickly before we see something too gross for low tier doubles. Yeah, like a strong lead um, in the end of that game. They almost had like four stocks. Like finish that off. It's really solid from Denty Jace. Uh, really needed. Let's see what what, uh, what Stacey want to really pick um, going to this. Uh, the Smash Bros. Uh, really. It was nice, but I think they might need some platforms like for some movement for like Dr. Mario and right. to get around. Right, yeah. Charizard is not your typical heavy, but he still is a heavy, so navigating around platforms might be something that uh, becomes a weakness for the blue team in this this kind of sense. And deliberating on the ban right now. Oh, we're gonna get a switch out of cheeks. Possibly. Oh Ike. Oh, Team Fire Okay, that's cool. Fire Boys. It's like considered low tier. That's wild. It's like, I think, like E or F and down. They have like a list of a tier list. Right, them. right. Okay, well, I mean, he's low tier or mid tier or something tier for this. And we ran it back to Smashville. Yeah, I can, uh, Roy really benefit on this stage. Um, just like linear, the sides are like really, oh, really closed no. in. Oh my gosh. And you hate to see things like that happen. Uh, but Denti probably will be able to make up for it. It just makes it a little harder now, working from a deficit and taking damage as he's getting that second stock started. 
Yeah, that's really rough. I, I think we can take care of it, but oh my gosh. Good not combo. <laughs> Oh, wow, the good DI from the Ike. Jake's Dying trying to salvage as much as he can from this deficit. Oh, they I'm trying to finish off Dancy right there. But refusing to die. to die. All right, and we've got them back on stage now. Red team still in an advantage right now, holding most of the stage and the ledge. And this looks oppressive. Oh yeah. my goodness. They've almost like brought it back to like like even from uh, Ooh. Charizard losing that stomp. See, but oh. you, know, you got his teammate. They're really yep. unfortunate. And that's just putting them deeper into the hole. Yeah, I know. Oh, what, 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 what just happened? Oh, he thought, I think he thought he was the other boy. He just walked off. How in the world? That's two. Oh. He's dead. At, oh, never mind. <laughs> Fighting for every sliver of health. Oh, that tech was so good. Wow, he had the DIN and, and tech that just, just to get it. Like, oh. That was crazy, but man, now they're down two stocks. It's not looking good for blue team. That two like really low, uh, early stocks, really um, coming back to bite them. That right, they're back still in this, get some space. Yeah, they're still red in this. team taking that space right back. Back throw again to get some space, looking for a kill. Good air dodge. Reed still fighting his way back though. Jace almost dying for that. Yeah, that early up people there are really intelligent. Just like uh, just fight, fight that back air. He was just scared like the air dodge, and then he could just like wait for it and just still get the back air and probably die for it. Down it was a good idea. Up air's gonna take that stock. Denti, a large hill to climb. Not saying it's possible, but <laughs> the very low chance. Oh, I thought he was gonna down it right there. Yeah, yeah there wasn't much he could do. If he was gonna no. go something for, if he was gonna do something as as risky as that, it, you know, someone would have bound to be ready for that. Right, you had to feel like even even near, playing nearly nearly perfect, like right. you probably won't even make it back. But because even after you get those stocks, you do you do have to worry about then getting the percent or even the opportunities to take the next stocks early if you can. Uh, he was already sitting at high nineties. Yeah, it was a different story if it was lower percent, but still, it's four it's four stocks. Four stocks. So this is a best of three. That means game three. This is grand finals. Denti and Jace are in losers. So if they can pull this through, they can go for a uh, a reset here. But Cheeks and Ace probably want this to end as soon as possible. So they're going to try their hardest as we go to Battlefield. Oh, yeah. Uh, back to the platforms. Uh, Man, they have like Town City other picks to go to, but I don't know what they could have uh, gained from these aside from. Well, Charizard does get the uh, early kills from the up throw on that middle platform, so that is a gimmick that they can definitely look for if they get a chance to separate the red team as they have now. And Jake oh takes that down air uh, once again. Lead for blue team, as we saw in game one. If they don't end up getting into a disadvantage like they did in game two, this is a good start, a fantastic start. Because damage is the name of the game. Yeah, that character switch really going in for these guys. Oh my god, even wow. pop off the up smash, that worked. That was actually oh my OD. That was great. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, so it, it is even for both teams. Okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, well, it's not looking good for for red uh, for red team. But and Jace is swinging, dude. He's trigger happy. He's at 125, and he knows that damage needs to come from him right now to make this stock as worth as possible. Yeah. Squeezing out every bit of damage. Yeah, Dinty and Jace both going for that grab right there. Can't really uh, follow up on the stock. That's and unfortunate. His partner, partner ended up uh, killing each other. And little by little, all these small things, like accidental things from uh, just, Red Team. Yeah, they're just adding up. Mm -hmm. Really a reverse of the last game. They might be able to get a reset from this and have another uh, best of two out of three. In doubles, you've really got to think about the long game sometimes. Uh, the damage has to come from somewhere. You can't get too trigger happy uh, if you are in a disadvantaged state. You've got to look at the positioning of you and your partner, what part of the stage you hold. With that down smash, blue team is now holding a very powerful part of this stage. Up throw. Yeah, that's the up throw you're talking about. And forward air. I, I was watching him, and he was, he was on a hunt. He smells blood in the water. Yeah, it was great coverage coming out from Denti. Noticing that he was off stage, just like uh, getting the guy that was um, just stuck. 
All right, Cheeks fighting back. That up tilt is gonna seal Denti's stock. And he's sitting at 21. It is a large hill to climb, especially with the synergy of blue team. And that flamethrower looks like a mission to get past. Yeah, because I can like set up for like cheeky things like what you just saw, like Roy like trying to like uh, down, down. Oh my gosh, that What an interaction, yeah. What in the world? How Cheeks is, is fighting. Uh, Jace is just flubbing these uh, these throw combos. Oh, man, it was too high. He DI'd in. Oh, will it matter? Yes, it will. All right, 100%. Three stocks still to go through. He opts for the platform to get back on stage, and that keeps him safe for a little bit longer. Jace getting launched. I expected up throw, but he probably didn't want to hit Jace just in case. Denti does like to play a little safe at moments like this. Wow. Unfortunately, he's going to take... Jace's last stock, but he does make up for it with the up smash. We are going to get a reset for Dub's low tier grand finals. Yeah, it was a uh, good job out of the blue team, but like, just like, it was like a mirror of the game before where they just like, like gave away stocks for free and then. Oh. Yeah, they, they get, uh, got stocks for free and then the other team just did the, like the opposite. So it was really like. <laughs> The carry switch was pretty good, but still, they need like, just, you know, just reset. It's a reset. Right, so, uh, as we're gonna move into this next game, I wonder where we're going to start. Uh, the starter, most of the starter um, stages have been Smashville. Uh, so we may just start Smashville again. A little bit of deliberation right now as we get into the reset. I think they go back to Smashville because they really, uh, they, they definitely benefit both off of this. Yeah, they're gonna go back. Okay. Everyone's favorite, uh, favorite stage. Alright, starting on the reset. Here we go. Immediate grab coming out of uh, Ace. It didn't look like an intentional footstool, but he did try to capitalize on it regardless. Red team already off to a better start than they have been the past set. Keeping things mostly even. Interaction still jostling for stage control and some damage here and there. Yeah, Dizzy uh, over there, like, trying to struggle to get back to the stage. And still just, like, trying to... It, oh, getting confused into his own partner and not looking good. But makes up for it for getting bo both of Red team off stage. Red team still fighting for this damage and this stage control. Oh my god, almost an insane follow-up by, by Denti from the down air and almost to the forward air, but catch the landing and gets an up smash. And Denti still doing damage right now. Missed the follow-up from the team combo, still managed to get a down smash. And now Red Team is swinging, trying to stay as even as possible as they take a small advantage right now. Cheek still on his first stock at 83%. That is kill percent for the blue team as far as as forward airs or smashes go, but he can still eke out a little bit more damage if he manages to get back on stage, get some throws. Yeah, Cheeks right there was really on a tear for like the past like 30 seconds, got two stocks, and was still going, almost uh, took Dent uh, Denty stock at like 30, just I think it was like a miss input, he put in like a nair whenever he tried to come, but I think he just wasn't ready. Um, it was really good, but oh finally he's gonna take goodness. a stock. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a really good follow up. Um, yeah, Jace, Jace over here, uh, taking that stock, the second stock. Jace is a madman. He's just swinging. If you're next to him, watch out. He's going for the head. Yeah, he, he see. Look, I, that you see smash. that forward yeah, smash? Yeah, he's trying to call you out. He's throwing them. Yeah, he's just. He's got a surplus awesome. of forward smashes. It's a sale. But yeah, he needs to be Thursday because he's, he's getting punished for like, oh, trying to get that uh, that follow up on uh, on cheeks and thrown, but got the up throw. They finish off that stock, but gets caught. I don't think, that looked like it poked, but man, 140. It was a long stock. It's pretty. It's possible he tried to. Yikes! It's possible he tried to forward smash for that stock. Oh, and he's looking for blood. Yeah, Ike rolling there, but good reaction coming out of Jace. Forward smash finally got his wish. He's been throwing him out like crazy. Finally got one of them. That was good. Man, he really needs to, he's, he's really being thirsty, but he really needs to, like, help out Denti, because, uh, so, uh, Ace was just, like, screwing up, uh, screwing up Charizard, but he's just over there trying to get an early kill on the Ike. I don't think that was worth it. I don't know if Jace is thirsty. It's working out for him. If the form of water that he wants is a stock from the red team, it looks like he's going to get it. Low percent, and he's still running in every time someone's near. 
Yeah, it's really good, but good follow up of the Dint team. That was a bad follow up. That was a, he actually hit Jace. Oh, I did not see that. Yeah, he saw the grab, and it was just a Roy grab. That rope down smash always taking, almost taking Cheese's stock. Oh my goodness, there was no sanctuary. And now Ace by himself yeah. has a long hill to climb. Yeah, 109. I mean, they're, they're both at like, both, like everyone's at like a decent, oh, never mind. This just became doable. Jesus. <laughs> Oh yeah, he, he can definitely do this, but like one one up throw, one back throw, one back air. There's a lot of things that can kill him here. And Roy doesn't have like a neutral or anything. You just gotta like find like an opening. That yeah, but really risking have. risking that as Charizard can be detrimental. Every bit of stock that Ace manages to get out won't matter as he gets the up throw off the platform. Yeah, like like, like being at 150 wasn't enough. The platform just, man, he would have done like even earlier. Right. Yeah, game one going to blue team. Yeah, small fist bump from blue team. Denti and Jace, they know that they uh, got away with murder that time. Yeah, but I think, I think we need to get like a town city or maybe like a character switch here because like it's completely possible we could go back to smashville that is what they do the last set i don't think they don't want to go to smashville i just wonder what it is they're trying to avoid maybe final destination or maybe that's what the blue team is banning i don't i'm not quite sure what they're looking for in terms of trying to keep something i don't know in one's favor or maybe to their advantage, something that they can abuse. It, it's kind of hard to say. It just looks like both of these teams are, are swinging and if they hit, then it's good. And if they miss, then it's bad. Yeah, I feel like red team really just wants to survive and like blue team's just like, ah, I want you to die early. So like, maybe like like a bigger stage. This one like maybe like Town City, but they still have like that long, like, mm -hmm. like you know, combo, uh, the long stage to like go with like Roy, mm -hmm. like Nair, Nair, Nair string, you know, mm -hmm. so. So yeah, just gotta take platforms again, just like uh, last time. All right, Dreamland. So red team still has to be wary of that up throw shenanigans. Charizard loves and can have on this stage. That top platform may close out a stock or two if Denti is looking for it. Yeah, the character switch coming out of a uh, coming out of uh, Ace with the Kirby. You know, right. Like some really uh, good percents off like Charizard. And, now this uh, could Roy. be good. This could be really good for them because Ace plays Kirby outside of low tier. So if he can get something, maybe some character familiarity to help him out in this match, we can see a game three. Yeah, it's really good for Kirby too because like Roy and Denti, I mean Roy and uh, Charizard are both fast fallers, so you can get like a lot of percent off these like dual blasts. Right, and they have they have a linear recoveries. They kind of go straight up and diagonal. There's not a lot of oh my gosh, that wow. almost worked. Yeah. There's not a lot of um there's not a lot of flexibility with their recovery. So Kirby in the right position can take a stock real quick. Yeah, that down there is just really, really impressive against those characters. Uh, sometimes there's like a little bit of armor on top. Wow! Yeah, that uh, B ate through the the whatever option he picked after he got up off the ledge. That wake up track and punch. Yeah, speaking of. Yeah, wake up DP, stop. man. We're playing Street Fighter out here. <laughs> Oh, but freaking Joe and Charizard, he's got a he's got a fly too. Just throwing him off the uh, off the stage with a up throw. But he's still living. 112, really taking that stock. Him and the the Roy both at like 110. Oh no! Unfortunately, some friendly fire coming out, sealing Ace's first stock. Ace needs to make something happen oh ASAP because Cheeks is getting his cheeks waxed. Yeah, that down are coming out like uh, coming out from Denti, uh, just um, being really prepared uh, for that Aether. Like as a like Aether's like like a decent recovery. It's just like really hard to you have to really be prepared to to spike that thing. You gotta be like like predicted and like be above it before it even happens. But he was ready. Man, Ace just whiffing attacks, hoping something hits at this point. Yeah, I mean, whatever it takes. Uh, it's, it's been working out for the most part. But, oh, and he just died right there. It's fortunate. Ooh, accidental uh, Nair coming out of Dinty almost uh, killed himself, but he'll make it back. Trying to help out his partner. There we go. Trying to get out any pressure. We got the 1v1 on one side. 
Cheeks and Jace because China's going at it right now, trying to get something to happen. Ends up killing Cheeks instead. Yeah, the thing about grabs is like the, whoever is getting grabbed is not as not vulnerable. It's the person that's actually holding that's usually gonna get hit. But once once you usually you just want to wait for the throw. Uh, before you like throw out something, you always that could have been. He could have spaced it a little bit better, but I don't think in the heat of the moment he was prepared to. What wow. the heck? What an interaction! Cheeks capitalizing on everything he possibly can at this point. His tournament life right now for doubles grand finals is depending on it. That was crazy. That was off the the up throw bounce. That right. Was, that was really hard timing. Yeah, expert play, but. Still, one stock to three, and he's at 70, and he's off stage trying to get around that flamethrower. And wow, Rock Smack's actually like denying the Aether there. Well, they're just trying to find something to just end this stock so they can end this tournament. At this point, if I'm blue team, I'm throwing forward smashes. <laughs> oh my god, they're throwing everything. And that's it. Denti and Jace take low tier doubles here at Source Gaming Lounge. All right, well, good job. They definitely earned it. They earned their reset and that 2-0, Swift 2-0. Um, well, maybe not Swift. I should it, it take that back. Swift. It, it wasn't. Swift. It was. It was a war of attrition.